Hi, Aaron. I'm doing well, man. How are you? Absolutely fantastic. Dude, you are on the, the, the straight line in the way of uh, when you bring out children, ruin everything. This is so us. And, and you've got to be tapping into your own personal life on this. How, how are you getting it so right? Uh, first of all, I appreciate you saying that. I think we really wanted to, at the very beginning of the show, when it got a green light, we had a, you know, the first week in the writing room was about like how we want to set up this show. We don't want the kids to be smarter than the parents right. as they are in so many shows. We want them to sort of be feeble <laughs> and, you know, like they, they, they're, they're learning and there are so many gaps in their knowledge and they're vulnerable and they are emotional. And we wanted to keep that real because that's what our kids are like. Yeah. And we wanted the house to be messy. And yep. we wanted, uh, you know, right down to like there's schmutz on the light switches, like there's <laughs> like from fingers, greasy fingers turning lights on and off. So we just wanted to make sure that it reflected um, our authentic experience as parents. And um, and I think, you know, we've done a great job of making sure that that's present in the scripts and and on set and uh, you know everyone's done a great job of it well where it takes me as as an aging adult is the fact it takes me back to my dad's house be and and that so i would love to see the effects that it has on everybody oh yeah like i, I you know uh, growing up and watching you know you see sitcoms and there was such a there is you know obviously some amazing amazing stuff but you see these sterile environments that are these clean homes and stuff like that and i just wanted to be like no man that's not what my house is like at all you got <laughs> two or three kids there's just like plastic easels everywhere plasma cars on the floor stuffed animals all over the place and like it's not that i'm not cleaning it's just that they <laughs> they're making that mess faster than i can clean it oh my god and you're forgetting about the legos on the floor that you step on Oh my God, man! I, 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 my, I, I feel like I could walk across hot coals now. Like yeah. I've got so much callus on my feet from stepping on dolls and Legos and stuff like that. Yeah. You know what's really interesting about this is the role of the father, because I'm starting to see a lot of that in grocery stores where fathers are hanging out with their kids. It's not just mom always around. I mean, you're embracing the entire, in, you know, entity of what is going on in the real world. Yeah, I think that was another thing that was important to me is that um, I wanted the the couple James and Astrid to be a real team yeah. and to be to be there for each other and to be supportive of each other and uh, to sort of show a, new, a sort of this emerging new kind of dad who's more present and mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. more more emotionally available, mm -hmm. which is you know like not probably not your experience. It wasn't my experience, but it's what I tried to be. You know, I'm trying to sort of be model that for my kids to be more emotionally available and uh, more present in their lives. Well, and, and the thing about it is, is that is I, I love the idea that the adults are still, you know, we, we still have pre-kid lifestyles. We still have those those wishes and those dreams of when we were younger, oh, because yeah. I mean, even with my grandkids, it's like, oh, I'm a kid again with you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it it is so much fun. I, I was out last night with some friends. You know, my kids are 10, uh, 13, 10 and six. And I was out with some friends who have just had a baby. They have a, they have a six month old, and to be with that baby, it brought, it brought back. You know, I love I love holding that baby. You know, it brought back, and it was nice to just sort of hand it off again at the end of the night and be like, okay, I don't have to change any diapers now. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's. Uh, uh, it, it, it is fun to sort of uh, explore that in the show. And, you know, one of the things I wish television sometimes had scratch and sniff because the scent of a baby is just you. You never forget that oh. warmth in your soul. Oh man, that's the top of a baby's head. Yes. I don't know, so it emits oh some How sort of chemical that, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, and it's it's uh, you know, and in 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 a, in a weird way, it sort of starts to feel like Stockholm syndrome, you know, where you're just <laughs> <laughs> you're like, these kids that are in your life that you're like they're, they're sort of like you know like uh, can be wrecking balls and can cause so much stress and whatever, but you just you love them so much, and you know, there's these moments of frustration and moments of of anger and and the moments where you're scared yeah. for your kids but there's also these beautiful moments where you know you're laughing and it's, it's, they come up with some weird you know idea or something and mm -hmm. I, I wanted to capture all that stuff in the show oh my god you know my, my granddaughter singing in the back of seat of the car you know she she was singing opera and then all of a sudden you know she when she graduated from high school it was like oh my god you 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 had music in high school i remember when you were in the back seat of my car it, it you know it's amazing to me how, and I've talked to a lot of parents about this, how, what the through line is, how much 
of the person that your kid becomes is present in the baby that they were. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I swear that even their births, my kids births were like their personalities. <laughs> one was very easy going. One was a bit more difficult. Uh, one was very quick and was eager to get out. And, uh, that sort of reflects on their personalities, but yeah, it's, it's funny to see those through lines, right? How they, uh, what's present in, in, in the baby that's that's there in the adult. Hey, what is it with Canadian actors and writers that, that, that we all cherish? Because I grew up in Montana and I watched a lot of Canadian television. I am addicted to the humor and the way that you present a story. Thank you. Well, we're amazing, first of all. <laughs> uh, but I think... <laughs> <laughs> that's that's part A. Part B is I, I believe it's such a small industry that um, you know only the very best get to sort of have careers and um, and so and also we're just inspired. Um, you know we can observe and 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 see all this great culture coming north mm -hmm. as well because what happens is in Canada we have you know simulcasts so like our broadcasters will buy American shows and so we get the very best and so it's like. Uh, uh, we hardly ever see any of these shows that sort of get canceled or only last to half a season or whatever. They sort of buy these shows that are going to be hits and, and we see so much great American content. And, and well, so we have a, uh, we see great British content, and I think that really I influences us. Oh, I mean, I mean, just to watch Canadian television when I was a kid. I mean, we would we would have Dallas and Dynasty the same exact night right after each other. I mean, CJOC up there in Canada was like that was my go to as a kid. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, um, yeah. There, there's some great, great, great content that's coming out, and um, you know, Schitt's Creek has really sort of changed the landscape as yes, well. I think has. more people are yep. looking yep. northward to to see what we got going on up here. Yeah, because you know what, what that show changed everything because we keep going back and watching the same episodes and finding new things. And I think the same th thing is true about Children Ruin Everything is that you can keep going back and you're going to pick something else up. It doesn't get old. No, it's true. I think it's it, there's, there's a lot going on in those shows. Um, you know, Shoots Creek was obviously had a very, very special cast, um, and um, they they were incredible. And I've I've you know learned from that, and I did a lot of work and took a lot of care in the casting process to make sure that I I have a group with lots of chemistry and that uh, you know are, are going to bring the funny every day, and they they really do. Was oh, man, it they're so good. Was it like a, an Eagles Hotel California moment or a rumors from Fleetwood Mac where it's like, okay, that happened, guys. We can't go back there. It, the chances of it happening like that again, we've got to find a new path. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, sometimes it happens like that, but the camera guy's like, oh, I didn't get it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you're like, oh, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I feel like there are absolutely some moments that are, you know, like hilarious things that happen on, uh, you know, like a, a happy accident where someone spills something and there's a real reaction to it or um, that kind of thing. But mostly I feel like the pros like we 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 come up with a plan in the script and and the great cast executes it and we just we're it's repeatable we do it we do it over and over again until we get it perfect and uh you know that sort of classic tv making <laughs> but yeah we there, there's a lot of funny stuff and of course we've got kids on on set yeah, yep, you yep. know when i first wrote this show i went i want i wanted to have a dog on the set too i was like let's they have a dog and, and i was talked off that ledge my but, god um, I mean, you went you went totally against wc fields rules man no kids no dogs <laughs> yeah it's like i'll sh hold my beer hold my beer wc fields <laughs> i'll show you uh yeah i <laughs> yeah i think um uh, yeah, it's it's there's a lot of funny moments, and of course, you know, there um, there's ten there's tension too because we got the kids got to get to school, yeah. so we we have a tutor on set, and like we have we have a certain amount of time with them, so we're like we're trying to blast through these scenes with the kids, and they're amazing. Those two kids are are just fantastic little actors, very funny. Wow, and they say the darndest things. Either either are they, they written, are they written out? <laughs> then I write for them. Okay, I was gonna say, are they written <laughs> yeah. out? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They say the darndest things that I tell them to say. Uh. <laughs> well, what what is that like for you as a writer when when it comes to you? I mean, and then and then it's delivered by somebody else. I mean, you had to relinquish the funny to somebody else. Well, I'll tell you, I, that casting process it made me trust them so much, and and after the first season, I really sort of got to know what kind of stuff is that I can write that will be totally over the plate for them to just home run and uh, what stuff that I know that they can just go off script and, and, uh, and find something really, really funny. Yeah. And it, it, it is stuff, but 
I also have the last say in the editing room. <laughs> so I, so I can power. shape stuff the way I, I've got the power here. <laughs> so now your creative mind, I, I realize that you're on the, the, the big giant CW right now with children ruin everything, but, but you've got to be thinking about, okay, so now what streaming outfit is going to get this show in the future? Because you run a business, no matter how fun it is to create, it's still a business. That's right. And, um, it, it's it's really interesting to be up in Canada where the strike is only tangentially affecting us. You know, a lot of American work comes up here to shoot. And so uh, a lot of our, you know, crews are, are sitting and waiting for work as well, which is tough for us. But, you know, it feels like the media landscape is going to change a little bit after this strike. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like there's going to be a bit of a contraction. And, you know, there's so many streamers, so many places looking for content. But yeah, I, I, we're always looking for the next home for this show and for my next project. It's a real hustle for sure. Yeah. Are you are you filming in Vancouver or are you down? Or are you over there at uh, Toronto? We're in Toronto. Yeah. 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 And then yeah. we also. Yeah, yeah, and then we also shoot in uh, Hamilton, which is just uh, south of uh, Toronto. Oh wow! I mean, because it's Canada, with, even with the music, is just amazing. With 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 so much creativity right now. I mean, you've got Drake, and then and then you go over there, and the, you you rest in Victoria, just just to kind of get that little vibe of that city, and then you get back to work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I haven't been to Victoria in a while. I would love to get out there. I'm actually going to the other coast next week um, uh, to Nova Scotia. Uh, beautiful out there as well. Um, to, you know, I, I, I work pretty hard and it's time to recharge the batteries and yeah. spend, uh, you know, some time with the kids. But yeah, it's, uh, there's a lot going on up here. And, uh, like I said, uh, it feels like there's more attention now on the stuff that we're making and more opportunities for creators, uh, who are in Canada to, to be able to work and, and, uh, access a global market. Yeah. Because for the longest time, Canada, Oh, they play hockey. They have curling. Oh no, there's more to them than that. <laughs> <laughs> but not much more. We do also do TV, but it's mostly hockey and curling. Oh my god, dude! We yeah. we actually have two ice houses here in Charlotte that it's it's all about curling. I, and it's like, are you kidding me? I've waited all these years to have these things down here. It's it's like it's. Have you ever, have you ever done it? Have you ever played? No, it? but I want. I've played have you hockey. Ever yeah, I've never curled, but I've I've played hockey. It is like a really zen kind of like. It, it curling is is great my son started playing and then i i sort of went out with him once and i was like oh this, i get it now <laughs> i understand <laughs> you know like you, you hear about people who hit their first golf ball and like oh now i get it <laughs> yeah that's what it was like for me with curling i was like oh i understand the appeal speaking of appeal when, when it comes to the show children ruin everything are, are you running around with a legal pad in your hand at all times because i mean there, there's so many things in this show that really are like about the what is going on now yeah, I mean, we're definitely in the room trying to be inspired by, you know, our, oh, there's a lot of parents in the room and we're trying to be inspired by how we're dealing with mm-hmm. stuff that's coming up with the kids. But yeah, it's, uh, you know, I definitely, there are moments where, and I have to keep it to myself, where we're at the dinner table and someone says something and I'm like, oh, that's a good story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going I'm to put that in my show and I'm like, oh, hold on, be present, be with your family, be here, be in the now. Do you think somewhere along the line you're going to have a podcast in the way? Because there's so many after shows that, that are appearing on podcasts. I would love to hear the, from the actors of how they brought a scene together or how, how things came together on that set and the reaction of everybody you know, when, when it came to different things that happened in, in the storyline. I would love that. I mean, I think that's a great idea. Um, and, uh, you know, we, uh, the cast would be game for that as well. We had, there was a companion podcast, but there hasn't really been a, like a, an insider podcast about the show that's a great idea i'd love to talk about it because there's there's just so much that we relate with it's like it's like okay how far are we really going to go with this i would love to hear the actors talking about it how they built that scene or you know even going from the reading room up up to when the cameras are on them a hundred percent and you know it's interesting because aaron uh, who plays the father james is not a, a dad himself Whoa. and megan <laughs> Has, has become a mother over the course of the show. She's she's uh, her, she might be having her second child now. I have no idea. But the the um, so she you know she when she was cast was not a mother and then has since become a mother you know and and it's really sort of connected her with the show in a different way. So that might be interesting to, to hear her talk about. And yet I b- I believe in every one of their characters. Oh my god! I mean that's acting then. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, there's, there's the first, 
The very first day that we shot on this show ever, it was uh, we had to shoot an episode where they're on a road trip and it's like the whole episode takes place in the car. And so they are in a car all day, stuck together, the four, the two kids and the two adults. And so they got to know each other and they got to really like, they became a family that day. And, and they that that dynamic is, I think they truly, uh, um, Aaron and, and Megan truly care about uh, Logan and Michaela, that the two actors play the kids. And, the, you know, they are like a little family unit on set. Wow. How has the technology changed? Because, you know, if we go back 10 or 20 years, I mean, those big old cameras, you know, shining into a, a car, ah, that, that, that'd that be uncomfortable. Yeah. I mean, you know, you just sort of lift a car up on a rig and you're towing it. And then the tow truck also has a place where the cameras are and you put cameras on the sides and it's, it's kind of a, a clum. It's still pretty clumsy <laughs> to be honest. It's still, it's still pretty clumsy, but uh, I, I don't know that I would do it again, but it was, it was pretty fun for that. Yeah, but, but <laughs> for that, for you, that one episode. You at least gave yourself permission to do it though. That's what I love about creativity is that, you know, somewhere along the line, you, you've got to give yourself that permission to go ahead and just, you know, ah, let's just do it just to see what happens. A hundred percent, you know, like we're just like, what would happen? You know, there's so much time in the, when you have a kids, there's so much time in the car with kids. Yep. There's like, that's, that's a big part of it. And we just wanted to have an episode that sort of the whole thing was in the car pretty much. And uh, yeah, it was good. Will there ever be an episode where one of the kids does something, dad turns the car around and the whole trip is done? It's, it's because I mean, that to me, that was, that was growing up. <laughs> <laughs> One more word out of you kids, that's, and we're going. It, we're going it. back to Winnipeg. I'm yeah. going to turn this car around right now if you guys don't settle down back there. You say sorry to your sister, or we're <laughs> we're going to the gas station and then home. And then Daddy's going to the bar. That's it. Uh, yeah, no, I. <laughs> no, I think. Uh, yeah, I, I. I mean, that would be really funny. We do have uh, in the third season, of which we just finished shooting, um, an episode about like you know, making sure there are consequences to actions yeah, and how yeah. difficult it is sometimes when you punish your kids, you're really punishing yourselves. Cause it's like, you no know, TV for, for a week. It's like, well, that's when they watch TV, that's when I can get stuff done. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so now, now they're not from the TV and I, uh, you know, they have no screen time during the day and now I got to figure out what I'm going to do with them. Oh my God. Uh, so yeah. I can't thank you enough for this show. Children ruin everything on CW. I mean, this really is, this is our break away from the real world and we get to escape into, into an episode that everybody else is having the fun, the laughter, the pain. And you know what? I get to watch it. I feel like a grandparent. You know, like, here, take it back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, take the kid back now. I'm done with it. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm glad. I'm, I'm so excited that uh, audiences in the U.S. get to get to see this show. I'm really proud of it. And um, yeah, it's uh, it's it's been a special journey, and I, it's it's uh, been reviewed well so far. And I'm excited for for more people to to catch up with it. Absolutely, come back to the show anytime. The future is always. I mean, the door in the future is always going to be open for you, sir. Arrow, I appreciate that so much, man. Thank you. All right. You be brilliant today, okay? You too, man. Take care.